Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Myself Ravi Kumar. I am a civil engineer. Currently, I am pursuing M Tech in structural engineering at NIT Silchar. Uh, today, I have my friend Amber with me. In this video, he will share about the placement. So recently, he got placed on the uh, on-campus drive. So hello, Amber. Hello, Ravi and uh, thank you so much for having me on your channel and uh, it's a pleasure so first uh, first uh, amber you introduce yourself uh, hello ravi and hi everybody i am amber datta i completed my uh, graduations in civil engineering in the year 2018 from siliguri institute of technology west bengal and currently i'm pers pursuing my uh, structural engineering mtech uh, in nit silchar yes so, Amber, uh, you took admission here under the CCMT? Yeah, I uh, got into this uh, institute through Valid Gate score and uh, through CCMT counseling process. That is the usual process. So, uh, do you have uh, remember the what was the your marks that time? Uh, actually, I appeared for the gate examination in 2021 and I cleared it in 2021, but I got admitted to this institute in 2022. So I exactly do not remember uh, what my gate score was, but it was somewhere, uh, I mean, the marks were somewhere around uh, 30, 38, 30, something, 35, 38, something like that, between that. Okay. So uh, if you have marks uh, 30, uh, 30 to 38 around this, so you will get a structural engineering in NIT Silchar. So don't worry about this. Key. If you if you you have marks is uh, around the 35, so definitely you will get a structural engineering is here. Yes. 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 So uh, next, uh, you join here uh, 2020. So after this, uh, you got placed in which company? I recently got selected in a campus recruitment drive. Uh, it was uh, through the company uh, uh, KEC International and uh, I got selected in that company. Yes. So you uh, placed, got placed in KEC. Yes. So what was the process of this? Uh, tell me about the, you passed in 2018. Yes. So uh, you got placed in 2024. 24, yes. Yes. So in last video, some of my viewers asked to me, mm -hmm. there is the any age eligibility criteria is there? Yeah, apart from KEC, there were other companies as well who had come for the recruitment drive in NIT Silchar. And for those companies like LNT and uh, a few other companies, uh, they were having the age restriction. And uh, for those companies, I couldn't even fill the form. So yes, age restriction is a uh, parameter that you have to check before you apply for this uh, kinds of recruitment drives. But for KEC International, there was no m such mentioned uh, age bar. So I... Um, I'm, I'm actually 28 years old as of now and uh, I uh, got placed in the KEC. So uh, it's uh, it's some somewhat of a matter of luck as well. If you're not lucky enough, then maybe age restrictions will be imposed by any company that will be coming and then you'll be having to face the consequences. But otherwise, if you're lucky enough or and, um, normally if the companies are lenient, lenient enough, then maybe you'll be having your chance. So that's the thing. Yes, uh, sir, uh, sir, Samir, Samir Pal is asked to me about this. So, uh, hello, Samir, uh, if you are watching again is this view, I thought, uh, I think uh, you will get answer of your questions. Or next, uh, uh, do you remember the which types of questions asked in your written yeah, interview? Uh, yeah, mm, the interview, I mean, uh, the selection process uh, comprised of uh, two or three uh, rounds, actually. Uh, the first, I mean, uh, it was actually, uh, to be precise, it was only two rounds. Uh, the first one was a uh, uh, aptitude kind of a round, which had both the um, general as well as the uh, technical aptitude. And in those uh, aptitude tests, uh, there were um, uh, clock time tests with MCQ questions mostly. I mean, not mostly, fully. And um, in there, I really did well, actually. And... Um, only two of our batchmates got selected, me and one other guy in the uh, in, in this aptitude round. And from there on, we were uh, called on for the interview, which was the next round. That was a personal interview. Uh, although they had earlier told that they'll be organizing the uh, personal interview on a one-on-one -on -one basis physically, but uh, that really didn't happen in the end. And uh, we were uh, supposed to 
uh, appear for the interview online uh, through a Zoom call or something like that. So I don't remember the exact uh, proceeding, but uh, something, some online uh, arrangement was made. And I, I, I suppose it was Google Meet. So um, uh, in the morning itself, uh, we were on the due date. We were uh, called for the interview and we appeared for the interview. Uh, we were asked uh, various questions related to the uh, subjects of structural engineering as well as uh, the projects that we have taken up. And also, uh, we were inquired about uh, our interests, uh, interests in general, your hobbies, uh, our hobbies and everything, and also uh, interests in the particular field that we are in, that is the structural engineering. And uh, we were also um, asked about the salary prospects that we carry in our minds, the job prospects or the job profile that we really need. Uh, and what what we really aspire for and uh, in the end uh, uh, we were just released and um, um, the interview went quite well so uh, cut this one so cut this one so uh, in an interview video is recording huh? okay so uh, in an interview uh, there is a software questions also yeah, there were, uh, as I already told, uh, there were subjective questions first of all. Uh, they had asked me about uh, the design procedures, usual design procedures uh, that, uh, that a structural engineer is supposed to know uh, about uh, the various structural elements like uh, slabs, columns and beams and other components of a regular building structure. And apart from that, they related the questions on to the practical application uh, of uh, really commencing or maybe executing some design with the help of computer softwares. Uh, the in particular, I was asked about uh, STAD, uh, which is a very common software uh, for any structural engineer or uh, rather for any civil engineer. And after that, I was also I I personally the project that I have taken up uh, for my MTech uh, involves some other softwares as well, some finite element software, and uh, also the uh, building model model and analysis that I'm doing is on. Uh, the software uh, called SAP 2000, which is uh, the parent software to ETABS, the more popular version of the SAP. So it's not the popular version, but it, it is like uh, uh, earlier uh, earlier software. A follow-up software is the ETABS. So I am I was I am doing my project in SAP, and when I, I mentioned that, then I was also inquired about ETABS and SAP as well. So these are the regular softwares that a structural engineer should be knowing, uh, so that he can um, come up with good designs. So, the regular softwares that are required in civil engineering. That's yes, all. yes, Amber. Uh, 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 and say about the the campus, NIT Silchar campus is. Uh, the first and foremost thing uh, that uh, why I have come this far, uh, because I am a resident of uh, West Bengal, Siliguri. I already told I did my BTEC from uh, there itself, from my home state. So, um, the one of the main main reasons uh, that I have. Uh, opted for this campus is because I really, really love uh, the environment around uh, wherever I am uh, doing my job. So uh, he, this place I really googled and found that this is a really very beautiful place to be in and especially the campus. It is a very, very large campus, almost uh, some 500 or 600 acres and it has got every facility that a, stu that a master student or maybe even a graduate student or undergraduate or postgraduate whatever uh, any student can think of from sports to medical facilities and everything um, hostel facilities and everything is just very good and uh, NIT Silchar had been my uh, uh, college of choice apart from the uh, of course, the renowned IITs, but uh, since I didn't have the required GATE score uh, to get into those, so I had to opt for this college. Um, although I could have opted for NIT Durgapur, because, which is in West Bengal, but I didn't do because that is up to actually, that is uh, my personal preference. And uh, I actually got NIT Durgapur as well in the first round itself, but I finally opted for NIT Silchar because I just happen to love uh, the kind of environment that NIT Silchar provides. So thank you very much. Yes, hello Amber. Uh, so many uh, uh, viewers are asking about me the uh, hostel facilities and mess food like this. So, yeah, as I said, uh, hostel, mess, fooding, everything uh, what you can expect in, uh, in kind of a student life, it is all here. Mm, there is. Uh, 
there are at times there are some problems with the food in the hostel maybe the, the, those are just temporary problems but the usual things that is expected of a institute's hostel or mess facility or fooding or accommodation that is pretty good actually and especially the hostels that we have been offered to stay in in this college this is the most uh, recent of the hostels and uh, it's absolutely um, well furnished that is what i can say and uh, you, you you are also playing table tennis yes, i think yes. so you are table tennis lover yeah so uh, sir so, um, tell me about the indoor games are here all all sorts of sports i already mentioned that uh, sports and everything uh, you are having options over here uh, to play tennis basketball uh, football cricket volleyball these are the regular ones and uh, in addition the indoors like uh, you've got um, chess uh, table tennis badminton and uh, really some good qu good quality sports uh, auditoriums are there and uh, sports facility especially the uh, indoor areas uh, the arena sports arena uh, it's it's actually pretty good actually uh, it lived up to my expectation of what i uh, thought before coming to nit silchar so it re it is really rewarding so thank you ambar uh, for giving this uh, experience so thank you so if you have any doubt in spite of this uh, if any questions is left you can comment in this video uh, i will cover it in uh, upcoming video so thank you thank you very much thank you ravi and thank you viewers